Hey everyone, welcome back to RJK English. We're about to learn the last of the vowels. So this is just what's left. Okay, so let's get started. Make sure to like and subscribe. Tell someone about us. It really helps us out. And if you uh, want, comment below or um, go to Baltimore Hindi Language Learning Group. You can see it below and uh, we can talk about it further. You can also see me on RJK English. And if you want the book for this, I highly recommend it. Uh, you can uh, find it below on Amazon. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to learn the L. You did meet this already. So notice the K is made like this. It's more spread out. The L is a little bit more circular. So here is the L. All right, it looks like a J, right? We can make it a little nicer. How would I do that? Yeah, that's the L. L. That's what it is in Devanagari, the L. Uh, we already met this, um, like uh, Adil. Remember we learned how to write Adil? There's that L right there. We also caught it in uh, Kamkarna? No. Uh, we had it somewhere else. Um, oh, I forget what it was. Um, uh, yeah. So here's our L. Okay, uh, oh, Colleen, Colleen, that's what we had it in. Colleen. Where is the L in this? It's right here. Why is it different from the A? Ah? Because it connects on both sides. And I'm going to show you that just so you get an idea of this. So here's the L if it's at the start, uh, or if it's alone. Okay, that's the L, if it's alone. If it's at the beginning, it starts like this. So it's the L, and then it goes into, let's say, Lena. Here's the L, L, E, N, A, Lena, Lena, means to, to give, right? No, to give to take, oh my god, Lana is to, Lana is to take, Lena is, I suddenly can't remember, um, <laughs> uh, so Lena, so here's the L, here's the A, and then, but it connects to the next letter, um, in the middle, it looks like this, it's the big L, okay, if it was A, it would stop right there, if it was ah. And then at the end, it ends up as an L, like when we saw Munzil. Oh no, the uh, let's see, uh, color wouldn't work. Uh, bal, bal. Oh, pool. We saw this before, pool. Nope, that's not connected either. Uh, Pal. We'll do pal. This means moment. P, and then here's the L. That's how it ends. Okay, but the A only starts out as this, A, at the beginning, and as an ending, like this. That's all A does. It's a beginning or end. That's it. So, Colleen, we met the L right here. Okay, next is M. For the M, we start at this point, and instead of going like this, uh, sorry. sorry, instead of going like this, like for the F, we go around this way, clockwise. We go counterclockwise. A little bit this way and down. You see that? Around, a little bit this way and down, M. In a word, we already saw it. Did you notice I started here? Mun zil. 
See how I start here and I go over? In the middle of a word, it's, uh, it, it looks like this. Uh, yeah. It looks like this. It stops and comes back around. So for kamera, which means room. Oh, there we go. I actually kind of loop under and over. Kamara. Kamara. I think officially it would be like this. And then it would loop around like that, I think. But that's how I do it. I go under and over and through. That's the M. M. N, you already met this. The N does not go in here like that, unless it's at the end of the word. If you're just writing it alone, the N goes right here. The, the dot goes right there. But uh, Saman, oh, that's alone. Uh, how about uh, Mun, which means brain, Mun or mind. Put that dot right in the middle for it. Mun. N. Um, next, we met this already. That is a vowel, right? U and O. U, O, and it's also A, right? If it's U, it's like this. If it's O, it has this mark above. If it's I'm sorry, it has the mark below if it's O, and if it's A, it has the mark up here. It is also, it is also a consonant. It is the wa or va. So in Hindi and Urdu, some people say wa all the time. Some people actually say va for some things, but a lot of people say wa all the time. So this is a wa, it's a W or V. And in Hindi, it's the same thing, and it's a wa or a va, okay? Uh, so I think we already met that uh, in dude and, um, yeah. Okay, next is the, uh, the uh, small he, another he. Remember we did this for sha? Shahrukh Khan, Shah means uh, king. That's the Choti. It almost looks like an O, but it's a little bit more peaked, like that. That's a Ha. And, um, yeah. Ha. Okay. Um, let me show you um, how this shows up in a word. Um, so make sure to write this down. Actually, I'll just do the other side. Okay, in a word, it shows up like this. It's really cool. So, for instance, uh, yaha, which means, um, and we're going to uh, meet the, actually, let me save that, because you're going to learn a couple other letters. Okay, or actually, one more letter. You remember this? What if I go like this? What is that? That's E, right? Or we wrote it like this, E. But it can also be the, um, the consonant alone. It's the consonant Y, ya. Ya. So to put the, the H and this together, Yaha, yaha, that means here. Yaha. And notice I'm going, uh, uh, not n, n, uh, uh, yaha. Oops. We're going to learn a lot from this one. This is the ya. Remember, if it was an e, it would start like this. Let's see. What starts with E? I 
can't think of anything in Hindi that or Urdu that starts with E. Uh, let's say um, yeah, I can't think of if it was an E, it would have this in front of it. E. Uh, like if uh, someone's name is um, uh, Enos. I, I don't know. Uh, Ines, uh, which is a, a Spanish name. It would be E. This would be that E part right there. And then this would be Nes. Ines. But without that line at the beginning, that A uh line, it's a Y. Y. And then this is that, that little H. That's that Ha. Huh. Ya ha. How did I make that? So just like when I make the p and then the this h, I go like this, right? P p. Well, for this one, I start with this line, which is where I'm going to have the ya. I I end and I cut back up and curve back around. Do you see that? Almost looks like I'm drawing a seagull. Remember when you were a kid and you draw seagulls or birds off in the distance like that? So again, and then I make this little droplet mark from it, like like there's a drop of water coming down from it. That's ya, ya, and then this is going to go into an ah, and then what is this? That is the un. That is the nasal n. It's not n. Mm, n. Mm, it's n. Mm, n. Mm. We we met this at the beginning when I told you that this was how I write I. Man, man. Notice I'm I'm going oh mm, in the back of my throat. Man, man. It's a nasal. Uh, if it was this. Then it would be man, man, or mean. But it's yahang. This means here. Here. Yahang. Yahang. And I'm going to make a dot at the top for that nasal. For um, a Hindi speaker, it would look like this. Yeah, huh. All right. So those are our ending letters. Um, next time, I will probably do a review and work on how to make these again. Uh, so the next one will be, we'll go through all of the uh, consonants again and make sure that you know how to make them. All right. So I'll see you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe and give me comments. Tell me how, how I'm doing. What am I missing? Am I talking too much? Let me know and go to RJK English and talk to me there. Um, if you want the book, I highly recommend it for this. I didn't recommend it as much for Devanagari. It has a lot of pictures in it and it's only, I think, $3.50. I think it might be on sale right now on Amazon. So anyways, I'll see you next time.